Well, Darren, I don't think Woking, we, we haven't ha had a great record here over the years. And uh, so tonight was an excellent result, excellent 1-0 win. Your thoughts on the game? I thought it was a really good performance. I mean, it, there was no snatch and grab tonight. It was a very, very controlled performance. And I thought first half for a, a large, large share of it, I thought it was very much in control in possession. I thought we um, played with some good purpose. But it's probably the best we've been tactically for a while in terms of um, applying uh, some practice and training ground work. And it's, it's, very, it's very hard, Ian, when you're, when you're not winning to, to keep saying that uh, performance is coming. We've seen it in training. He was obviously witness to that yesterday, but it's taken a while. This isn't an instant team. It's not a team that right now that is an instant. They know it, exactly every job. Bradshaw, young man, needs work. Morgan Williams needs work. Timmy Odessina needs to refine himself to a back four rather than a back three. Lewis Walker, I could go on and on and on. And um, so there are, there are periods when we've had to recruit and then for externally that mean that you've got to work with the players. These are not 30-year-old seasoned professionals. These are young men and we've got to coach them. So, and that coaching process takes a while. But tonight was the first tactical display of what Ian and Marlon and I see, you know, in training. It was nice to see them brave enough tonight to uh, implement, you know, that work. And I thought underneath that, the foundation for that was just a wonderful teamship amongst the players. So they deserve a lot of credit. And as you say, it is brave because after you've had a few knockbacks, it, you know, it takes bravery, doesn't it, to be on the front foot. And we were on the front foot. And tactically, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but there was a a lot of feeding of Josh Casey in that first half down the left yeah. and then into the feet because the front three aren't the biggest. So it was into their feet and no, they were very mobile. Yeah, and, and, and that, needs, that needs time to evolve because it's not just the, the start of it. So the start of it sounds quite simple. Yaskalain into Josh Casey. Then what? Yeah. Then what? And, and that bit in the middle has been the bit that we've had to rotate and change the most in our first few months. So it's taken, you know, a lot of coaching and then you've got to ask players to go into areas that they you know, that are alien to them. But they, they did it very well. They did they did implement that that strategy very well and you know it's been important to us that we try and develop that our flank play again because um last year it was a it was a given that Casey would feed daily and he'd run at nine thousand miles per hour through a wall, through a player, through a leg, over a leg, round the leg. And we get the other side. We can't do that right now because James is not with us. So we, we've had to take time to, to develop that. But the, the, our flank play was excellent and tactically it was it was absolutely on point. But you've got to be brave enough to do it, you know. And Moss and Casey, the, very good performances tonight. Took a lot of criticism after Saturday. Mm -hmm. Took a lot of criticism from the coaching or well, from me. So for them to then get back on the proverbial horse tonight and take the ball as deep as they did as often as they did I thought they were I thought it was a testament to their character and just in my commentary I think of as it was approaching half time I, I was saying the worst thing Woking could do is concede at this moment and lo and behold suddenly Denon Lewis is through good play by Reese Brown feeding him through and he took it well didn't he but that's because you're pessimistic I know <laughs> I'm optimistic and I see the best in people but <laughs> One, no, a very good finish, especially we've seen a lot of what we'd say obvious chances, you know, go astray in, you know, in the first few months of this season, definitely. So for him to go down, the, you know, the neck of the goal and open it up in that way and the height and the trajectory of the ball was, no, it was a very good finish. I'm really pleased with Denham because he's taken, a, he's taken a, you know, a period of time to adjust to how tough you've got to be to play in this Woking team. But he puts his boots on every day and he works. So when people do that, good people do that, no one can deny them the plaudits and the congratulations that they've worked hard to earn. But it was, a you know, it was a showcase of his speed and his athleticism. It's a showcase of what we think he's capable of and he's making goals now, he's scoring goals. And um, hopefully we can stretch his run of form as long as possible. And, you know, looking at the Eastleigh team, I mean, they've got players like McCallum, Quickly, Udovine, so they, they've got a lot of foul power there. And we kept them relatively quiet in the second half. And the substitutes when they came on, like Taylor, Wakefield, the fast out ball. Yeah, uh, yeah Chris McGuire is 
comfortably uh, technically the, the best player I've seen in our division um, so far. So mm. far, and I thought Ince and Bradshaw in particular did a, a very good job um, trying to restrict him, trying to restrict uh, his his time on the ball. Uh, Ince was back to his very very best tonight, um, and, and I thought the substitutes. You're absolutely right. I thought Greg Taylor put on a masterclass of composure, temperament, experience. And I thought he uh, he covered across the ground in a in a in a really mature way. I know it's, it sounds quite presumptuous at 33, but coming onto the game late, it's high tempo game. It's a very very fast game. I thought he put on an absolute masterclass masterclass of, of of playing in that role. So no, they were excellent tonight. But we're going to need that. We're going to you know we need our squad. We've seen we've had to use a hell of a lot of players so far this year. To my dismay, because of injury and suspension, and um, we're going to need a squad, and the squad needs to improve in order for us to continue to progress. But a no, very good night, really good night. I, I, and I too have had a fantastic record here with other clubs, so it was nice to be on the right side of it. Yeah, well, well done to you, well done to the players, and well done to the fans who I'm sure are wending their way back up the N3. Happy. No, very good, and I always try and go over before the game, especially away games, and. I thought their positivity and the spirit far more uh, optimistic than you are, Ian. <laughs> and um, I thought their, their their energy all night was was magnificent. And once they got into that almost that competition with the Eastie fans behind the goal, the, the atmosphere in the ground was very good. And uh, we need it. We need it. At our worst moments. We need it. At our darkest moments. But in football, the light is only is always around the corner. You know, you yeah. always one great performance or result away from seeing the light again and you know tonight the players deserve to see that light relax themselves until Thursday when we start running them into the ground again yeah well, brilliant well well done and on to Bromley see you Bromley thank you Tough. cheers Dan